I guess I'm gonna make a video and it's gonna be about what people should do when they get robbed or get their stuff stolen. Number one, report to the police if you can. Number two, um, go buy more stuff. It's not worth the headache or anything else that comes with the stuff being stolen. For you to try to go and get it back if you're not a police officer who's been assigned to that case while you're on duty. That's not what that is happening to you currently. Okay. I was like getting to my flashbacks. So if you're not a police officer who's been assigned a case to retrieve somebody's belongings that has been confirmed to be stolen and verified that I'm the owner of said item, right? If that is, <laughs> if that's not what has happened and you're not on duty and you're not actively working on that case, and before you start mistrusting all police officers, keep in mind they already have their own assumptions and their own like judgments based on their work experience. So I'm not saying that you're wrong or that they actively hate you or anything, but maybe prior to having been at that scene of the crime, um, their experience with people in your situation, like in your demographics, was completely different than what's actually going on with you, right? So just based on their own experiences, anecdotal um, evidence, they, they think that they're right about what's going on without actually having verifiable proof or evidence of it. So they can't really, like, that's what they think, right? That's how they feel about that. But again, they're not really supposed to go off of anything that they, like, like that. Um, when they when can they actually um go in and arrest you and do all that kind of stuff when can they do that um when they actually get a warrant from the judge so when the judge hands out a warrant and there's and says that there is a blah blah blah, blah warrant, then they can go and arrest that person do they arrest people without warrants yes they do all the time the whole police brutality people abusing their authority position all the time is reported widely, especially in the USA, all the time. Why is it reported so widely? Is it so widespread? Um, it's mostly due to corruption. Sometimes people like to jump the gun a little bit. Um, the other times, it's because that um, the people in their neighborhood are saying some stuff about that person or something like that. Um, but that's what's the, what was the case with me. I have no idea why they would even go by that. It turns out they were all racist. They were pretending that they were just the citizens of the USA, but they were actually just racist people who just wanted to hurt somebody of a different race, which doesn't help anyone, including their own race. <laughs> But yeah, that was what they were doing, so I was like, I don't know what the fuck to say about that. I'm supposed to find nail clippers soon, but I don't know if she should it on him, so I can really do that right now. Why don't you hold our nail clippers on him and all Okay. Okay, so what is this other stuff that you should be aware of? Um, if somebody steals something from you, even if you know who did it, even if you can break into their house and get it back or whatever, I'm telling you, it's not worth the headache. Okay, don't do that. Go and report it to the police if you want to or need to. You don't have to, but you should, I guess. I don't know. It really depends on the police. Like, there's so many um, police officers who don't do their job and abuse their authority here, and I just don't think it's worth um, reporting anything to them. Oh, this is pretty good.
I think oh, somebody was trying to call it in to try to get me to hate these guys and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm sorry, I didn't choose to do those things, and I don't think, like, Um, yeah, well, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I didn't choose to do those things, and I don't think hitting them is gonna like result in anything other than you know. What? Why does this happen? It's honestly due to an error in the police departments and that's why it doesn't happen that often but when it does, it does reach the news channels and all that kind of stuff. There's been an error in their calculations or whatever. Um, Do they know what they're doing? Um, no. Why are they doing that? I don't fucking know. Please don't ask me these things. I actually don't know why they're doing those things. I would love to know why they do that. But I don't. Because I think they're crazy. That's the thing. I think they're legitimately insane. What do I need? Do I have $35 already? Ever try to take don't be a vigilante okay don't try to do it your own way I'm sorry that that has happened to you and you're right you should be upset and all that kind of stuff but trust me it's so much easier if you just bought new stuff I mean you're gonna be upset about it obviously so like I definitely recommend contacting the police at least to follow a report if you've been involved or logged or otherwise like Etc. Etc. But that doesn't mean they're gonna find a perpetrator or they're gonna be That's what that means. Um. There's been some people around the area who's been like trying to convince me that like. They're my kids, and I shouldn't care about them as if, as if I cared about my children. And I'm like, I don't know what they're saying. Oh, they're crazy. No, like I literally don't like those people, and they don't get why they're not. Like they only really get why you don't like them. 
which is what I'm really surprised about. I was like, what do you mean you don't like him? And people don't like you because like, of the stuff that you're doing. So what should you do if you're being harassed by the police? Just ignore it. Honestly, just ignore it. If they're there, leave. And then you can always come back to that area after. Like, I wouldn't- if you've been actually assaulted by the police without a warrant, then I would suggest you don't even go in the area. Like, make that your goal, is just don't ever go back in that area, like, ever, area, ever. Never go near that, those people, or that area, don't ever talk to those people, like, that's what I would suggest. Um, what if, like, um, if you're wondering, like, oh, what if, like, this kind of stuff happens, and like I said, look, if the police have assaulted you without a warrant, that means that they're fucked up, okay, the, the, the departments have gone insane, okay, they're high, very crazy people and mentally unstable weirdos, for whatever reason, your country's not doing well, okay, so if you need to get out of that area, if you were personally attacked, like, if you were the one, of the recipient of the, the victim of that crime, you need to leave the area, immediately. Okay, and then expect the police in different cities and states and towns and provinces or whatever to follow you around that area because that means they're all involved and they all screwed up. They're not very smart. Look, again, they can't jump the gun without a go-ahead from the uh, judge giving out that warrant if they don't have that warrant and they're doing that anyway it means they're stupid what does that mean they're fired it means they lost their jobs and people who get fired especially in the mental state are clearly like they're not doing well and they're gonna respond poorly to you being alive because they're gonna blame you the fact that they got fired for something wrong they did at work yeah, it doesn't make sense because they're crazy, but that's how they feel. There's really nothing you can do to change that, how they feel. I'm wondering when it's going to start raining. But don't worry. They're going to go away very soon. Like, they don't have these really not actually end up making it over here. I don't know what's going God, I was like dying and I was wondering what the fuck's the problem and I was like, oh, it's the fucking medication that I was taking at the Advil. I'm like, oh, yo, that is bad. Anyway, um... Oh, what should I do?
worth it, like I said.